ready for this chapter. What's up guys, it's Kicker. This video is sponsored by Billy Billy Comics. Be sure to click the link down below and read the TGCF manhwa on the official app where you can follow Holly and where they're at right now. I'm freaking out, can you tell? Let's just hop right into it. So last week we had Hua Chung waggle his sexy little fingers and lift Lan Chen Cho up in the air. What's gonna happen next? Since we caught something fun today, anyone with enough luck to win a match can take him home and cook him. He's straining against Hua Chung's magic, but you're definitely not strong enough. It's Hua Chung. Take a seat. The highest bet place can take him back is extra food. This man looks very nutritious. <laughs> he's a fool, isn't he? He has no idea whose territory he's making trouble in. Now, Xi Qingxuan is pissed. Slams his fist down. Things have gotten complicated. What should we do? Should we place bets to win him back? Or should we just start fighting? Xilian is full on strategy mode. He's like, you know what? Let's leave him to the wolves. I'm gonna go date Hua Chung and I'll see you later. I really love how concerned Xi Qingxuan is though. Xi Qingxuan is straight up a hero and I really like him. He's kind of the butt end of a lot of like ditzy jokes, but Xi Qingxuan's freaking awesome and heroic. Lord Windmaster, how is your luck? Because Xi Lian knows his luck is terrible and if they were to just bet against him, they're gonna be eating Chen Cho soup tonight. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. Nothing can be guaranteed with something like luck. It can be. <laughs> <laughs> For example, me. Every time I toss dice, I only get two at most. It's that bad? Xi Qingxuan can't even freaking believe it. How about this? Since you always get twos at most, then bet on the lowest number. Nobody can score a lower bet than yours. Smart! Xi Qingxuan, oh, you beautiful boy, I love you. Great idea. Look how cute they look conspiring together. And Xi Lian, little chibi and inspired, is like, that makes sense. I'll give it a try. Everyone, why don't we change the rules a bit and see who throws the lowest? Whoever gets the lowest wins. How about it? Sneaky boys, very sneaky boys here. Is that allowed? It doesn't seem to be banned. Why am I being used as a reward? You're all so rude. You ghosts, release me. Hey, did you hear me? You won't lose anything, so you should go. You can get an extra meal if you win. <laughs> Fried food tastes good. Dip it into some sauce. Bro, you're making me hungry. Ah, okay, this is getting kind of gross. Then, Xi Qingxuan's serious now, stealth mode. Hood up. I freaking love this picture. Look at how cute they are. Shilian's little focused face is so cute. He shakes the cup and he rolls double sixes. And Shilian realizes how stupid their plan was and is like, look, guys, it's still about my luck. It doesn't matter whether the numbers are high or low. Pinches his head being like, God, you are making me stupid. <laughs> and this panel freaking kills me. Windmaster is just like, yeah, we should just start fighting. But Windy Boy's up next. Or let me try instead. Please settle down. Our Lord would like to make a statement. He says that rules will change. He's in a good mood, so he wants to play a match with everyone. Hua Chung is gonna come out. Are you guys hearing this shit? Hua Chung never comes out past the red curtain. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but in this panel, this is like Hua Chung's POV. Like, he's looking through the red curtains. He's staring at Xilian. The way Hua Chung sits in his throne, like the biggest asshole. Love him for it. You're all welcome to make a bet with him. The winner can take away the thing above and dispose of him however they want. Betting with the Lord? All hopes are dashed. What do you mean thing? I'm not a thing. Let me go. Ah! And Shillian's like, this kid, hold your tongue. God, I'm too cold for this shit. It's really hard to imagine myself sitting in Hua Chung's lap with your screaming. Rolls up his sleeves, does a little tippy tap. Since that's the case, Please, let me give it a try. Anything to see Hua Chung again. Then go ahead. And Hua Chung sits up straight. He's over here being for Mr. King douchebag in the chair. And then Shilian appears and he's like, oh shit. Oh shit, Gaga's gonna play me? Gaga's gonna play me? And then we have this gorgeous look in his eye. The little twinkle, the little tremble. Is he starting to get nervous? I don't know about you, but I just see love in this look. I know this is seriously like a side shot of an eyeball and I'm overanalyzing this like crazy, but you'd have to be crazy to say that this doesn't evoke emotion when you look at it. Hua Chung is sitting up straight and attentive for Shilian. Wait. Our Lord says, you're not using the correct cup shaking posture. What? Correct posture? Does that mean my luck is so terrible simply because I haven't been using the right posture? Then may I ask what the correct posture is? Yeah, it's bent over this table here. Our Lord says that you have to come up. He's willing to teach you. Oh my God. His heart must just be... <sighs> Mine's beating fast enough for both of them. The Lord is about to teach someone? This is a first. Is this person going to die? What does the Lord want to do? Who is this guy? What does he have to teach him? Aren't you supposed to just shake the cup? There's a correct posture? Sir, silence. My heart is beating so fast! Julian is slowly ascending the steps towards Hua Chung's red curtain. And then look at him, gorgeous as ever. His eyes are even reflecting red. And then we get the little tap of Hua Chung's boot. Ever so slowly, 
Hua Chung reaches his hands through the red silk of the veil, a red string tied on his middle finger, and touches Xilian, and stands a whole head taller than him as he takes his hands. <laughs> this is 800 years of longing and caress into one little hand hold. Oh my god! Honestly, I feel a little lightheaded after that. Then we get these gorgeous looks. Xilian looking up at Hua Chung and Hua Chung down to him. Hua Chung, oh, the ever mischievous. Something I really love about Hua Chung is that he is mischievous, but he is still so nervous. And I think Star Ember captures that in his eyes so well. Would you like to bet high or low? What? <laughs> the intimacy, the sexual chargedness of this moment, oh my God. Do you want a top or bottom, Gaga? Because everything is ready for you right now. The way he's holding his hands is so over the top. Like to show someone how to shake a cup, you really didn't need to grasp them like that. Imagine truly being Shilian in this moment and Hua Chung does that and touches your hands. And it's like, if, if you're gonna shake the cup, you could have just grabbed it on the parts where my hands currently aren't. You didn't, you didn't have to hold my hand. Not that I mind. <laughs> and that's the last. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys, you have to read this for yourself. Be sure to click the link in my description and read it on the official Billy Billy Comics app. It helps the creator and it helps me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, if you guys would like to help support my channel, you can join my YouTube membership or purchase one of my shirts. I've got my Kicker shirts and my Red String of Fate. And also, this is an older Danmei print if you want to show off how much you like Danmei. Like me. I'm freaking out of breath. I'm going to go throw up and pass out. Oh my god, you guys. Okay. <sighs> My heart is literally racing so... <sighs> What's up guys, Future Kicker here editing. I realized I didn't say bye, so before I do, there's also a message I'd like to say is that we are incredibly lucky to have so many fans of TGCF around the world, and that also includes Ukraine. I've gotten heartbreaking messages from Ukrainian TGCF fans who watch these videos, and my thoughts are with you and your friends and your family and your country. I've donated to a relief fund, and the link to that will also be in my description if anybody else is able to help out. So please check that out if you're able to. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. If I might take a moment to draw your attention to the <laughs> You know, the amount of time I spent fixating on Hua Chung's hands in the last chapter paid off for this moment. Oh my god.